Hi guys, it is Thursday. I've literally just signed off from, from the previous vlog and I've just started recording this because I want to leave it a week between the vlogs so that I can show you these products and that it will be closer to the time that they're actually in my shop um, and going like live for the product launch and everything else that I've got coming but this is the first batch of things that I have for um, a new range of like products and stuff so what I've actually done for June and July is I've actually budgeted some money from my business I don't know what you call it, funds I suppose. I have taken some money out of like reserve f specifically for products so I've actually budgeted a specific price to spend on getting things printed, getting things made and all of that kind of stuff. Trying to work a little bit smarter and stick to a budget and then um, assess how things are going and that kind of thing. I'm kind of trying to be smart about it in that respect. So what I've done is actually ordered a bunch of card restocks which is a majority of this stack of cards a majority of them are just restocks of designs that have completely sold out or on the verge of selling out and I now I've got one new design which is the one that you can see on top so my recent B piece I have had made into this card I love it that it's like perfectly square on the card and it looks looks like the actual drawing. I love it so so much. It's so good and there's the back in case anybody's interested in looking at the back of the card because I know some of you are. <laughs> and but yeah, that is the new B card. So this will be in addition <laughs> this will be <laughs> in addition to the other B card. And I was considering bringing back the very first B card that I did, but ultimately I decided not to, just to have these two Bs for now, see how they go. Um, but yeah, I've got a bunch of 25 initially of these, purely because I don't know how well these are going to sell within my Etsy shop and within my actual my um, my own shop. They might do really well, they might, no, nobody might not like the design or anything like that, so I've got 25. The other design I have is good old restock of this guy and just need to have my own printing press of this B. So we've got another restock of this because I've only got a few cards left up there. Uh, we'll say a few, I've got like 12 which will be gone next week. So I've got 25 of those, I kind of wish that I'd have ordered 50. But I will. We also have a restock of the owl. I'm trying to do this so I can pick them all up in one go. <laughs> it's not working. Oh, there's so many. Um, yeah, okay. So I've restocked the owl. So this one is this one's low. Um, I think there's about eight of these. Uh, these ones don't sell out as quickly, but it's always good to have these in stock, especially with like autumn or autumnal months coming up because that's quite a popular like um, period for owls and that kind of thing. I've got kingfishes which I've restocked because they're running incredibly low. I think I have two of those left. So we've got kingfishes which are perfect for summer of course. And then we have a restock of the rabbit. This one's always popular on Etsy. Not so much my own site, but definitely popular on Etsy, so that guy will be for them. Now, I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to restock the next one because it's not that popular. But I really like it, and I want to continue to have a bunch of designs in stock rather than having them run out. So I've got this one, which is the Sun Conyers. I love this card so so much like i don't know why it's not more popular than it is <laughs> obviously not a lot of people know about sun conyers maybe i should work on the seo of that one i don't know and then the last one i've got is the puffin this guy's been waiting for a restock for a while again this one isn't a very popular one but i like to have it in stock so it's there 
so those are the cards that I have that I need to package up. One new one, bunch of restocks. And then I have ordered something particularly special. And it is a run of prints. These are going to be limited edition. And I'm going to sign and number them all. But I have a run of square B prints. Which have come out super fantastically actually it's probably not going to be a run of 50 because this one has a dirt line down it can you see the dirt line i don't think it's coming across very well because the light is just bouncing off the white card so that's a shame that that one's dirty uh, maybe i'll keep that one <laughs> um but yeah they're limited edition prints ready to go up in the shop and go for sale they are 21 by 21 centimeters so they're kind of this similar proportions to the actual physical drawing i've um added it onto the page the same way as the drawing is same as the card and they've printed incredibly well so i'm really really pleased about these and i cannot wait to put them on my store and then launch it with everything else that's coming <laughs> i haven't got all of the other stuff that's supposed to be coming just yet i'm still waiting for two products and i still have to order another product which i'm not sure whether or not i'm going to order i'll have to see but that's what i have so far so today's order of business is to watch some netflix and to package up these cards and yeah let's get on and do some of that as long as i'm able scare the monsters under your bed deep and abiding liking for you is all i need until my heart gives in Wow, this is a really awkward camera angle, sorry. Happy Friday. I have my delivery of one of the products that I've ordered in for my next like, or my very first like collection launch thing. You're sitting on them now. I haven't opened them. I'm gonna open them now and I hope, I'm praying that they have come out great. So I'm gonna capture my initial reaction right now for you guys and we're gonna open this together so let me just slice this open it's a big old box as you can see i really hope that this has come out good because this was an expense these weren't cheap oh i'm so scared i'm so 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 scared okay oh my god oh my god i'm just in the top of one. Oh my god <gasps> this is the first time i've had something like this printed okay oh my god oh my god oh my god they look amazing holy 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 <gasps> Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, they're amazing. Right. <laughs> Let me show you what they are. So, oh again, another great camera angle, Amy. 
sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background but i'm doing washing it's the only time that i can get to do washing so you're gonna have to deal with it i know i get a lot of uh, dislikes because of the washing machine sound anyway oh my god i'm so like they're so good like they're not 100 percent like they're not 100 percent but i didn't think i was going to get 100 percent for this product and oh my god they're so close they're so so close to what i wanted oh i'm just so pleased that they've printed so damn good oh, right are you ready are you ready here's the back of what it is so obviously it's a5 in size have you guessed what it is can you guess it's a notepad guys but what's it got on it are you ready for the reveal i freaking love this look it's a notepad look at that oh my god i'm so so pleased like beyond beyond pleased it's the first time I've had these notebooks printed like this. Hold on, my sausages are done in the oven. <laughs> okay, this is the first time I've had something like this printed. I was not expecting, like, a great result, but I love it. Like, oh my god. So, so good, and I'm so, so pleased. Genuinely so pleased. I can't believe it. I mean, to most people, it's just a notepad, but I love notepads, and I love this. Oh my god. I love it so much. So, these are notepads with 50 sheets. So it's, you've got 50 sheets that are glued at the top. Can you see the glue? Probably not, because it's focusing on my face. Focus on the damn pad. There we go, kind of that will have to do <laughs> so the glue's on the top and then you literally you write your note you whip it off what else could you want i was gonna do like the little shopping pads and a notebook but i thought that i would see how notepads go because i know that these are quite popular on etsy so this is primarily stock for my etsy shop i just love it so much like you know I just can't put it into words how I feel about the fact that these have been printed and are pretty much spot on. They could be a little bit brighter with the B, that's my fault because I added an opacity to it because I just wanted like the lines on the notepad to show through the bottom bit. So if I ever get some reprinted, if these ever sell out, then I'm obviously going to just alter the design a little bit, but I'm really really pleased with how they look. Like. I'm going to have to test out some notes. We're going to have to test them out. And obviously I have to test out whether a page rips off. But 50, 50 leaves. So quite enough for some notes. <laughs> Maybe a to-do list for the for the week. Or like a daily to-do list. Um, but I have a hundred of these. And you are sitting on all of them. I'm going to go through and check them. And then I'm going to package them up in my compostable salo bags. So that they're protected. And they're going to be launching on my shop and Etsy. I've got a I've got a little plan for this, so I need to just consult my my schedule. So I've planned out everything for June. I did this the other day. Um, when is it going to be? Oh, it's released on the nineteenth of June. I've no idea when this vlog will be up. It will most likely be the 10th of June. So you've got a week to wait. There's some other products coming in which I'm releasing at the same time. But they're not being delivered until later. So that's why the release is like mid-June rather than releasing them straight away. I'm going to have to take photographs of these. I'm going to have to stage them. I've got some cut flowers from my garden which I'm going to stage them with. Um, oh, I'm just so excited. Like, I've been wanting for ages to do additional stationery and that kind of stuff rather than just cards because cards are good I'm doing really good with card sales but I just want some extra items to have in my shop that is like stationery designed with my designs on them so that's what I was planning on doing 
and that's what I've done and I'm really really pleased I can't wait for the other item to come in and then I need to order the other item I'm really really excited can you tell <laughs> I really hope that you guys like them let me know your thoughts like would you like more designs made into notepads because let me know which you like of mine that you would love on a notepad or whether you would like those like little shopping pads i did put a poll up in my group and it did come back that people preferred like notepads notebooks and not necessarily the shopping lists um but oh uh, yeah i'm just i don't know what to do because the information from people is just varying all the time um but i'm really excited <coughs> That crept up on me. <laughs> I'm just really excited about these. I'm just going to test out the the notability, like the writability, with my trusty ballpoint pen. Let's write a note. Um, what can we write? Let's just write. Hello, I'm a Notepad, and I'm freaking amazing. I'm so chuffed with this. It writes really well. The paper's really nice and smooth. The paper's like not the thickest paper, so you wouldn't want to use like a um, felt pen, like not a felt pen, but like a marker, like one of these type of pens. Um, this is like microperm pen. It's quite, it seeps through even like the thickest of paper, so you wouldn't necessarily want to write in one of these. But most people just write in pencil or with a biro like this. So <sighs> that's so so pleasing for me. Mm. I'm so 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 pleased if you guys ever create anything like your own stationery or your own items and stuff you will know like how much of a sensation it is when you receive something that you've designed and that you've kind of thought about it's so so good that has made my Friday <laughs> so yeah I'm going to package up these so i'll show you some footage of packaging them up i might add a little sticker to them i don't know i might order some more some like new small stickers with bees on it i might design that actually and then get them ordered along with the other products so that they're here <sighs> i'm so 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 happy <laughs> work to do today I actually don't really have to do anything today but since I have a little bit of time to kill this morning I decided that I would just sit down and do a few emaily bits um get a few bits sorted for the beginning of the week um because it's a new month tomorrow and a new month is always exciting um I haven't showed you in any previous clips I showed you a little bit of a glimpse of my planner um, in a previous clip before this but I didn't actually explain like what it is that I do here so at the end of a month so at the end of May I always go through and plan for the next month I haven't like done it really really efficiently and kept on top of it for this year because of just everything that's been going on um, but I did it for May and I've done it for June and what I basically do is, in my planner, it's this, um, the Maker's Yearbook. Um, I, 
we'll leave a link to it in the description below um, but basically it's like you get this diary that helps you stay on track um, and there's also an option to join like um, a school program where you can learn bits about business to help you like with launching collections um, everything like that it kind of includes uh, basically like building a business um, I like it just for this planner because I, I like the format of this planner and it really does help me keep myself accountable um, but basically what this includes is like a monthly spread so it has this which is basically the monthly calendar and what I do at the end of every month before the new month begins is just go through and plop in everything that I need to get done in the way of newsletters this is mainly what I use this for uh, newsletters and scheduling in when I'm going to do my live streams for my um, club puffin content so I have also scheduled in shop release newsletters blog posts are in pink um green is tutorial newsletters and then yellow is the live streams there so go in and plot everything like that so that's basically what i did i don't know if it was last week or the week before i think it was the week before that i did this um yeah and then i write down what i plan to release in the way of content and then I know what date it has to be up so I know when I need to work on a particular blog post or when I need to make sure that I've scheduled a newsletter. And what I usually do, or what I have been doing, I did it for the whole of May and I've now done it for June, is I've literally just written all of the newsletters, all of the blog posts and I have just scheduled it all. So I don't have to do any of this stuff for June, I don't have to worry about getting newsletter content out or anything like that it's all scheduled and I'm going to start doing the same for social media posts like posting in my group I'm just making sure that there is at least one weekly post there in case I get too busy or self-involved with drawing or something happens and I forget I don't know because I'm quite forgetful <laughs> um so yeah I, that is something that I've started doing and also in this planner I think I showed in like one of the previous uh, studio vlogs at the beginning of the year but in case you haven't watched that or you don't want to go back and watch it what you need to do at the beginning of each month is fill this out so it has an action plan so you decide what your goal is for the month you break it into smaller steps so that you can schedule it in every week um, it's also got uh, things on how much to pay yourself, um, a thing to add up your bills so you can kind of work out if you need to make any extra sales or anything like that. Um, it's also got how you market and things. I don't really use the marketing ones um, that much or pretty much these sales ones. Um, I see it as a thing to just kind of cover the expenses that are going out. Um, I don't really use it to kind of plan to really advance income unless I want to pay myself a lot more in that given month but I'm not a greedy person <laughs> I pay myself the minimum like to cover my bills to cover my mortgage and everything and the rest of it just goes into savings so uh, and business funds so like reinvesting into business for products and things like that um, so yeah um, and at the end of the month as well you've got this place where you can analyze um everything i haven't really been using that and i really should start um i'm gonna go back to like the previous months and see what the income was like the growth for stuff and everything like that i'm gonna go back and do that because it's now halfway through the year and i'm just worried that this year isn't going to be as good as the previous year with regards to income and everything but it should be because the Etsy business has been doing exceptionally well and I've got some new things coming out and you know but I'm just worried and obviously with business you want to make sure that you're advancing and that you are earning more turnover every year you don't really want to go down in that turnover I know obviously like two and a half months of this year have been in like quarantine and everybody has been limiting their spending and there's been a lot of cuts and everything so I'm not expecting this year to be over and above what it was last year like the growth from 
2018 to 2019 in terms of my business turnover was quite a lot. I'm not expecting it to be as much, like as big of a jump for 2019 to 2020. I'm prepared for that. <laughs> but I obviously don't want to make um, less turnover. So I really need to go through and analyse what's the moral of this little <laughs> thing. So that's basically what I'm going to do this morning. I'm just going to take some time to just plan, basically. I might even start a little bit of a drawing um, because I'm missing drawing. I didn't draw at all last week. It seems to be getting more and more weeks that I am just doing less and less drawing. <laughs> Um, I just am really looking forward to everything going back to normal and uh, James having a little bit of childcare so that I do have a little bit more time to actually work and draw. But yeah, thank you for all of your comments on the previous two vlogs by the way. It really does mean a lot and I love all of your support and that you've, I've got some people rooting for me so I really 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 appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Um, I read all of your comments. I'm not very good at replying to them purely because of time. <laughs> um, I should have done some work yesterday and I'm feeling really um, bad about it which is kind of one of the reasons why I'm up early on a Sunday cramming in some work. Um, but yesterday, I don't know, I had a headache all day. I could not shake it. I worked out really hard in the morning um, and it just left me exhausted for the rest of the day. I don't think that my eating the previous couple of days had contributed very well to that either. Um, I haven't been eating like properly. I've been snacking instead of having meals and for me that is troublesome. <laughs> I like, I know you don't have to have like set meals but for me having three set meals is like the proper way that makes sense and when I snack I feel really bad and I feel like oh I haven't actually eaten properly but yeah anyway <laughs> I also have had an email confirming <laughs> that does not work the right size I think I hope these are the right size yay yay <laughs> Thank you.
it is Thursday the 4th of June. Um, it's currently 7.47 in the morning. I decided, I mean I got up early as I usually do anyway and I've just decided that I'm going to sit down and do some sort of work. Um, <laughs> not sure what work I'm going to do, I didn't actually manage to do any drawing yesterday. And I really kind of want to try and record something because the weather is absolutely disgusting outside. It's it's cold and it's raining um, and there's currently three great hits on my bird feeder outside so I'm really super impressed by that. I'm like, hi birds. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's just horrible day which makes for good recording weather actually and I don't want to get too like when James goes for a nap and then I have the afternoon to do a little bit of work I don't want it to be raining and then I can't record anything because the rest, the sound of the rain on the roof I can't record anything I can but who wants to hear it's probably actually quite relaxing but I find it quite distracting when there's like a background noise on a video um, that isn't supposed to be there like rain or something so I know I need to package up some orders today. I need to package up my Patreon $20 tier um, and the $30 tier, which is discontinued now. I need to package up those um, reward boxes. So let's load up Patreon. I think I've got 10 to make up because I didn't send them out in May because I was worried about the post um, situation and things going missing and stuff. Um, so I have two months worth to include in one box. So seeing as I have some new products this month, the ones I have in are the notebook, the B notebooks and the cards and the prints. So what I'm thinking of doing is just sending out a notebook, a print, if it fits in the A5 boxes, and a card. And then for the following month, I can include the uh, wooden pin and what else have I, on the bookmark and all of that kind of stuff. So I really hope that the prints fit in my A5 boxes. I have a feeling that they're not going to. In which case I'm going to have to send A4 boxes. And I don't want to have to send A4 boxes because I can never fit them all in my post box down the road. And I already have all of the subscription boxes that I still haven't put labels on to send off. Um, but I did manage to get a video edited yesterday. So I rehashed my uh, drawing of roomy footage. You guys have probably already seen the video, but basically I drew a human portrait around this time last year I started it, and then I finished it in September. And I live streamed it with the full intention that I was going to eventually make it into like a video where I just talked about the process and what I found interesting when drawing uh, humans compared to animals. So basically, I've managed to get around to editing that video, so that video is up for Friday. And I kind of, I want to get ahead of YouTube videos because I find myself like getting to Wednesday and thinking I don't have a YouTube video, what on earth can I do? I don't want to get out of that habit. Like, I'm really trying to get out of that habit, but also I don't have that much footage to be able to create a tutorial for every single Friday because I've been slacking on drawing because everything else has been doing really well. So I'm struggling to find the balance between doing everything and a lot of people have suggested that like perhaps it's time that I took on an assistant or you know didn't maybe do as many things but the shop is doing really well I obviously don't want to stop that I really enjoy making products because I love doing that like I love the fact that people have my stationery and are using it and like sending cards and stuff I know I'm kind of putting more work on myself by <laughs> increasing the stationery range with like the notepads and stuff but once they're all packaged up, that's all that I need to do. Then I just need to pop them in a box when I have an order. So that's not a problem. Um, the problem is just general admin for everything. And then not finding the time to draw whilst in this lockdown. Like, it's not lockdown anymore. Like, this semi-lockdown situation where my child still can't go back to nursery. It can't go back until the 1st of July. So I have to wait until the 1st of July. People obviously can't come and look after him or take him for the day still. So like my nan and my mum would usually have him for a little while which would give me a little bit more 
time to work so I'm still in that situation and I feel like as soon as July comes around like 1st of July as soon as he can go back to nursery I'm going to be so much more productive and I'll get so much more done and I'll be able to draw more and I won't just have to focus on the admin tasks first so let's all look forward to July the bees do not fit <laughs> in the box <laughs> Um, I made up these boxes extra for subscriber boxes. You know what? I think I'm just going to make up A4 boxes because these bees are limited edition prints. And I feel like it's a good reward to have for like waiting two months. So I'm just going to pop these in some cellophane. And then package them up and make up some A4 boxes. I've got a, a load of A4 boxes that I ordered by mistake so they kind of need utilising and using so I'm just going to make up 10 A4 boxes, pop the B print in there, a B notepad and maybe a B card as well. Um, yeah. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So, I am done packaging and labelling. It has taken me literally all afternoon to do that. This is this is what we have. We've got some um, Patreon packages, which are the white boxes, a couple of orders and then the rest are subscription boxes and they're all subscription boxes from like uh, March. <laughs> um, I've run out of boxes now so I need to package up more boxes but I'm running critically low on stickers um, so I need to order some I am absolutely worn out from doing those even though I wasn't like physically doing very much I had to check to make sure that people were so, still subscribed um, when entering the addresses and I've entered every single one of those addresses in manually um, because the subscriptions and that don't correlate to the royal mail click and drop like my etsy orders and my shop orders do so i have to type all of them out individually a big big task and then obviously you know sticking them and just yeah so i've done all of that i'm now going to turn the mac off because i'm fed up of looking at a screen today and I'm fed up of looking at boxes as well. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to end the studio vlog here because I have a new product coming tomorrow. So if I leave it until next week to show you that product, um, and then it will be launch time, like the next day after that vlog. So we should be good. So I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching this week. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. There's been quite a bit going on. Um, and there will be quite a bit going on for the next couple of weeks as I launch the new products and all of that so I really hope that you will follow me along with the journey for my like first kind of launch I'm not sure how successful it's going to be because of like proceedings leading up to it like the situation of the world and everything so we'll see how it goes but yeah I really hope that you've enjoyed this uh, studio vlog and I will catch you guys next week. Bye!
Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down 